Hello everyone, welcome to Java Tea Point and today the topic of discussion is recursion and basically what we are going to discuss today is question on recursion. The, the, the overall concentration will be on question on recursion. So we'll deal and we'll discuss little thing little about recursion and after that we'll discuss question on recursion. So let's start. Okay, the question comes what is recursion? So here is the example. You know very well what is recursion when a function call itself again and again unless and until its base condition is reached. So let me read it for you that recursion is a process which comes into existence when a function call a copy of itself to work on a smaller problem. When a function call its copy of itself. No, when a function is calling. Suppose you are John and John is calling John and again John is calling John. So if John is a function and John is calling itself again and again this means a function is calling and it's creating a copy of itself now let me let me move further any function which call itself is called a recursive function a function which call itself is called a recursive function and such function call are called recursive calls and such type of calls are called recursive calls however very important line however it is important to impose a termination condition of recursion definitely there should be a some termination condition john is calling itself john 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 there must be some end point where John should stop himself where a John should stop calling John so that condition is called termination condition the termination condition of recursion is known as base condition so let's move further so this is the question and some options are there you need to solve this question and identify the answer of this question so here the question is this what will be the output of below code function n function there is uh, some value and is passing over there and in main we are calling function with value 3 and this is the body of the function so uh, I'm giving you a seconds 10 seconds to just read this question and identify what will be the answer if no then let me tell you my dear the answer is C the answer is C it's strange it's really strange you must be wondering how 0120 is the answer so let me tell you the answer of this question and we'll discuss each and every point very clearly so let's start with the question okay so the question is function uh, where in main uh, so I'm starting with my pen in function main function 3 is calling so let what happen after this okay definitely the function will call and it will jump to its body and this 3 will be passed to n so n will now have value 3 is n and that is 3 is greater than 0 yes condition now becomes true condition now becomes true so what will happen so function will break into this three part so let me see let me tell you how it's going yes now the function is breaking into three parts what will happen that this n value which is 3 will be passed over here that is function 3 when 3 will get passed this is pre decrement this will come out to 2 and when and after that it will come to printf then what will be printed it should print 2 but it will not print currently because as per recursion the stack is maintained and on the top first stack value is called so these things are, will remain pending so i should write this will remain pending this will, will remain pending and after that this n value will when get passed over here it will become what one because while pre-decrementing it will become one okay so this will become i'm sorry this will become one okay so this statement is still pending it will not execute so what will be executed so let me write it very clearly so this statement is again pending this function call is again pending so what is calling the top function will call let's see how it calls yes this function will again why why it will break into three parts because again when a function will call now this value become what two and 2 is greater than 0 true so this will d again divide into three parts yet uh, when function will call this part will be again called so function now when you pass will you 2 here over here what will happen it will become 1 okay and then and now current n value is 1 so 1 should be printed it will not print now it will remain pending I am writing pending 
this is the pending statement okay and when one will pass over here what will happen uh, that is minus minus one will become what zero again this will not call currently this will be a pending statement okay then what happens so, uh, this function will be called the top function will be called so let's see yes again when the value is one the function will again get the value one since one is greater than zero it will again break into three parts so clearly you can see this function has again broken broken into three parts so now when the value is one it will become it will the one will be passed over here and the minus minus one will become zero okay then this n value will be printed but again this will be a pending statement this will be a pending statement pending statement and when you will pass zero over here, here over here this will become minus one and again this will be the pending statement now what will happen this function will call now when zero will be passed when function zero is called this value is now becoming a zero since zero is not greater than zero this is now this has now become false so what will happen nothing will happen over here this will nothing will happen ho over here now the second statement will get executed the statement which was pending will get executed so the first value which is going to print is the value of n and the current value of n is zero so the first answer which you are getting is zero the first answer which you are getting is zero and after that this function will be called so what will happen uh, this function is calling minus one again this value becomes minus one since minus one is not greater than zero again false so nothing will happen over here since all the three statement of this body has been executed it will return back to this it will return back to this and this printf will be called because this was pending statement now what will print oh, that is n value now the current value was n n was one so now comes answer one <coughs> excuse me then what will happen this function will get executed now this value is zero again zero will be passed over here since zero is not written zero condition is false so what will happen nothing will happen over here so nothing will happen over here what will happen since this all three statement has been executed it will again revert back to the next statement which was pending the pending statement source was of printf so two will get printed so the two will get printed okay and what will happen then this next statement will get executed now the current value of n is one when we'll put again one over here since now one is greater than zero this become two this become true so this function will again divide into three part let me show you how yes this is again dividing into three parts now this n value will be passed over here when you will pass one over here this becomes zero and since n values now become zero this will print zero and now will it will become minus one so what will happen as i already told you first this function will get executed since value is zero we'll put zero over here zero is not greater than zero this is false this is false so nothing will happen so nothing will happen printf will print zero that is zero and fun minus minus and that is minus one will produce nothing because this is not greater than zero so your final answer is what zero one two zero how amazing it was no it was really amazing you must be thinking you must be wondering how zero one two zero is coming so as i already show you the zero one two zero will become thank you so much thank you so much for watching uh please like subscribe and share the channel thank you so much